Hey guys, it's Charlotte Salcedo with PhotoHackLovers.com and today I'm bringing you an awesome tutorial on how to turn day into night the proper way. So what I have noticed online is that there's a lot of tutorials out there that are instructing people the improper way on how to turn day into night. And it's kind of boring and I wanted to help people out. Um, and show them the correct way to turn day in tonight and make it look realistic. Now, this is a cool moonlit effect that you can apply to photos. This is really popular on DeviantArt right now. If you're an artist or a graphic designer, um, I definitely recommend getting on DeviantArt. Um, it will really help you improve as an artist and a designer. So let's get to it. So this is the before and the after. As you can see, it's really gorgeous effect. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer um, and we're gonna recreate this effect. Um, so I'm gonna duplicate the layer and I'm not gonna name it anything because I am lazy. And then I'm gonna go to Image Adjustments Photo Filter. And we're going to use the default photo filter, the last one, number 82. And we're going to bump that up to uh, 50, around 52. Okay? And we're going to press OK. Now, um, this is just a boring filter. And this is how most people instruct this on YouTube. But what we want to do is we want to bring the contrast back into this picture. And we also want to bring the highlights. So this is how we do it. We're going to go to adjustments, levels, and then we're going to take this and bump it up to about 22. Okay. Press OK. And now here is the hardest part of this tutorial. A lot of people don't know. There is a secret menu on your layer palette. And so right here, you, I don't know if you can see my little mousey icon. Right here, you're going to double click. Okay double click with your little pound your little mouse pointer thingy now you're going to take the alt button you're going to hold it down and then you're and pay attention to her little face here and and all of the highlighted areas on her skin because we're going to change we're going to bring those highlights back into her face to make it look more natural so we're going to hold this down and we're going to drag to the left okay and we're going to drag too far but I would say right about there to about 1, 120, 125. And as you can see, there's a huge difference there. Okay, you can do the, uh, the preview here by checking and unchecking that. And as you can see, that looks amazing. So now if you wanted to give it an even more in-depth effect, you're going to go to Image Adjustments, Selective Color, go to Whites, bump up the whites, bump up the blacks, and press OK. And then for an even added effect, you can do this manually or not. This is totally by choice. You can use the Dodge tool and um, just go over some highlighted areas. and. A lot of designers probably frown upon this method, but I use this method all the freaking time. And you probably would want to create a new layer when you do this. So in case you um, make a mistake, but I am, I like to live dangerously. <laughs> so I do, I'm so guilty of destructive edits. And there you go. So that looks pretty posh. And there you have it. So that's the before and that's the after. So what do you think, guys? If you like this tutorial, uh, give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. That's how you get notifications for more and upcoming awesome tutorials from PhotoHackLovers.com. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great night.